mountains that look north on Bathurst. I took the 307 Bathers Blue Night Bus and decided to get off here at King and Bathers and record a walk here. I haven't done a walk when it's dark for quite some time, an actual 4K HDR video yet. So it's been quite some time since I've done one of these uh, dark walks. I have to resist the temptation to say night walk because it's actually an early morning walk. What time is it right now? Approximately 4.20 a.m. And I am using the one times uh, camera mode on the iPhone 14 Pro Max as I have recommended many times in the past if you're taking footage in low light like this whether or not it be early morning or whether or not it's nighttime, I recommend you use the one times for best results as opposed to the 0.5 wide angle. There's King Street West. Towards King Street East. We'll walk south on Bathurst, make our way to the lake, fire up our live stream, but promise to be a, for what promises to be a uh, absolutely stunning day, summer-like day. I'm supposed to get up to a hive in the mid-20s today. Right now it feels actually slightly chilly, but that's gonna improve as the morning. It will hit double digits later this morning. The streetcar stop. If you're traveling, uh, if you want to travel north, take you to Bathurst Station, 511 Bathurst Streetcar. And uh, the chances appear very, very, very good for a sunrise live stream. So fire that up. Make sure to have all your, make sure to be on high alert when you're walking out by yourself. Even just a little, I think I can hear footsteps behind me. Okay, maybe the, what's this? Kitchen One Toronto. Fire up a live stream, hopefully, uh, at Trillium Park, that's when you can get one of the best sunrises in the city. Right by the exhibition over there. Oh, that's nice. And you can see there, the, they call it the crescent moon. Hopefully, you can do this in one shot. In case you're wondering what those little green orbs are, it's, that can't be, that's you know pretty much par for the course under low light. And this was any phone, any phone. Doesn't matter if it's iPhone or Samsung. Right now I'm using my iPhone 14 Pro. And um, 
it's there's Catamon's Bagel. And even though smartphones have come a long way in terms of low light performance, um, it's obviously very challenging to say the least. And that's one thing that I'm really excited to see every year the upgrades. And they've, but they've come a long way, come a long way. Wow, it looks pretty much pitch black right now. There's a stacked market. A farm boy over there. But one day would love to see if technology can come far enough where they can get rid of those green orbs bouncing around. But other but otherwise the quality is quite stunning. And I hope you uh, I hope you feel the same way, my wonderful friends. Nice. See I can get shots like this. Awesome. Oh there's a scene tower right there. Slightly obstructed by the wire. Try and get a closer look. You can see in the in the dark, CN Tower lights up, multicolors. Right now it looks like yellow and blue. I would imagine they'd have it blue, a lot of blue today, as the leaves trying. Um, stave off and elimination. I know our good friend, uh, Joel Collins, shouts out to you, brother. Shouts out to you, Joel. Been asking for this right here. As well as a uh, nighttime too. That would be. I know I keep saying, I know I sound like a broken record. That'll happen, that'll happen. Uh, it, it seems almost unfathomable. I haven't done an, an actual nighttime walk. So that will be coming up in the near future. Soon I gotta find some coffee. And not sure what the plan is for this particular walk. I was originally thinking from Bathurst Station at Bathurst and Bloor and I walk up to the lake, but then I was like, ah, uh, there's very, very little lighting. And really, uh, yeah, and also for safety reasons, number one. Number two, there's really not that much, honestly, to see in the middle. 
you know, right now, at this time of the morning, I'm a big fan of this Fort, the Fort York branch of Toronto Public Library. Definitely have to go in there sometime and give it a chore. See Concord. That was for you, Joel. And uh, any of our wonderful friends as well that have been silently wishing for that. See which coffee place will be first. Let me go right there. Now you can get shot because it's obviously you could see non almost non-existent the cars. You can get cool shots like this without impeding. So the Aroma Espresso Bar now is open here. Last time we were here, they said they were coming soon and now, oh, there's the, that was a bus that I was on. Starbucks is it coming or is it already here? No, I don't, they're not gonna be open now. I'm not even worth bother looking right now. Looks like that Tim Hortons is not even open. That subway's open. I don't know, do I go, do I grab a subway coffee? Let me just make sure. Let's get a closer look to see whether or not the Tim Hortons is open or not. Looks like it. It's definitely closed. So interestingly, subway's open here. I kind of wanted to fi uh, film this walk uh, in one shot. That means I'd have to. Well, I guess I wouldn't have to, but if I do a one or two transitions, that's okay. Let me see what time is it now. But that could. Ooh, you know what? I might have to. I might have to go for it. Just trying to think of where I am now. 
maybe I could, you know what? Maybe I could hold out until I get to, until I finish your walk. I know there's one at uh, Queen's Key in Spadina. Actually, no, you know what? Oh boy. Don't know if I'll have time actually, because I want to make sure to catch the sunrise and let's fire up a live stream. So I may have to go to what to do, what to do, conundrum. You know what? I'm probably gonna have to grab a coffee right now. Be right back. Well, somehow we ended up here. Um, the subway didn't have any coffee right now, so he referred me. It was nice enough to refer me to Tim Hortons. It's supposed to be right near here. So Tim Hortons wins out this time. On York, well, on Fort York Boulevard. It's cool to see the light, all the different lights. When it's dark. Toronto's quite beautiful now. You can only find that Tim Hortons. may end up walking to the lake from here instead of going back uh, you know it might as well walk from here but, uh, like my good friend Joel says Concord Place really really beautiful and when it's dark, I definitely will have to come back here during the nighttime to see the vibes here in the nighttime. There it is, we found the Tim Hortons. Now I'm gonna sprint across the street. I'm gonna sprint because of the next level stabilization of the iPhone 14 Pro Max, we can do that. See you soon, my beautiful friends. In my amazing friends. Respect. As a, our amazing friend Raja fam would say, I just got to pick up my Tim Hortons. They didn't have any dark roast. Uh, they were brewing a fresh pot and feel like waiting. So, cheers to you. So, we'll continue our walk here. Dan, see, Dan Lecky Way. And there was a Tim Hortons I was at. See, which route should we take? Which route should we take to get to the lake? Maybe we just walk on Dan Lecky. Dan Lecky Way. My beautiful friends. Cheers to you. You know what? I'm wondering, instead of walking south on Dan, Le Dan Lecky Way, maybe, I mean, I am eventually going to, that's probably where I'm gonna, gonna wrap up the video at Queen's Key and Dan Lecky's Way, right around there to give you an epic shot. The CN Tower skyline from there. Maybe, depending on the time now. Oops, did I just spill some coffee? 
my arm. I'll take a walk towards the CN Tower. Just trying to be mindful of the time here. The first streetcar. The exhibition leaves Bather Station at 511. Yeah, you know what? Another time we'll walk through there. But here you see the moon again. You hear the birds chirping. Good thing is, at no point, at no, no point this morning did I ever feel unsafe. Maybe I can go, maybe, um, go here real quick. Oh, that's cool. They got the multicolored uh, lights. And always be very, very careful when you're going up the stairs while you're filming none with a coffee in hand too to boot i got no free hand right now very careful look down make sure look down see where you're stepping that's cool right there they got a bridge there from one building to the next I don't know if it's residences or office or mixed. You see more and more of that these days, mixed residential and mixed, mixed commercial. Got to make our way down to the lake. I love that. I love that you see one of the condos there. Got the multicolored. Be nice to see a little bit more of that too. Be nice to see a little bit more. Take one more look. See more over there. Be careful. Safety first, my friends. My awesome friends. If we see someone jogging. Nice to hear birds chirping. Want to eventually make our way once I wrap, once I end off with the with a pretty epic view, CN Tower, skyline, and the lake. Definitely to hop on a streetcar and make our way to exhibition. So from there, walk to Trillium Park should be now it might be a little tight I may have to may have to take an uber or lyft to get from exhibition it's not a far walk from exhibition to um, Trillium Park maybe 10 to 15 minutes but I don't wanna it might be tight 
by the time a streetcar gets there and then to walk then again I don't know how many I don't know how many Ubers or Lyfts will be around vehicles and I'm gonna head towards Ireland Ireland Park Great. One thing I love about here being at the east uh, early, early hours, super early hours, just get to cross the street without a worry in the world. As we are now at Queen's Key, you can see, start seeing the water. Excellent, excellent. And Music Garden is up ahead with our great friend Christopher Haydock. Very much enjoys and uh, very uh, much appreciated Christopher working on a portrait for me. Last I heard, 150 pounds is the going rate. Well, I don't know if it was pounds. Hoping it's 150 Canadian dollars. That would help ease my wallet. done the sunrise before from here of, of sunrise video 4k HDR sunrise video from here but never been able to quite make it on a live stream from where we're about to see and I have not made it to a live stream from Trillium Park. Well, I got up early enough, and that would be more than likely. Now, there's, as you can see, hardly any lighting walking through here, so be very careful. I am, uh, maybe I should put my flashlight on and make sure I don't step in any, anything I shouldn't be stepping on. You know what? I think I might just do that. I just put the flash on. It'll help us make sure we're not stepping in any, you know what.
wonderful friends, Christine Wego Places Tours, 21st century, fan of the boats. Interesting to see if there's any difference as well. In, uh, in, the, in the actual final video, after I put the flash on here. How's that, my my beautiful friends? How's that? Just, just to give you an idea what it looks like on the wide angle. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments what you feel about the differences here between the wide angle you now and the and the one times